Welcome back to the channel tonight, Keith here from Command the Hoop Celtic. If this is your first time viewing the channel, if you can like and subscribe, it would be appreciated. So, one player out, another player in, in the space of the last 24 hours. Ho has joined Celtic from the K-League, Suwan, Samsung Blue Wings. He got the 19 short, he's a forward, he's 21 years of age, he's 6 foot 1, he scored 13 goals, 4 assists in 39 appearances. He's been capped for his country once, which is South Korea. We don't have to worry about him being put into the military service. He already done his military service early before he started his proper career at Suwon. So that's exciting times. What we get with this guy is very different to Yakamakis. Those pressing on players, loves a goal with his head, which is fantastic to see, which most strikers do anyway. But he's quick agility, buffed up a bit. For six foot one, I think we got a good deal here. This could be an avenue where we're going to exploit the, the K-League more forward. And plus, he said it was a dream come true to sign for Celtic. I think it would be fair that many a times. But it gives him the platform to play in Europe, do well, get into the South Korea team, get his international rival or teammate out there, which is Chelgui Sung, get him out of the framework and get himself fighting for them Asian Games in 2024. It's a year ahead, so... I think we have to need to be patient with the striker. He could come in the weekend, score against Dundee in the United away at Tannadice and hit the ground running. He's been training with the squad. I put up a picture the other day, I seen off another Celtic channel where pictures of him and his missus in Glasgow and people were writing the reports down. And to be honest with you, always 50-50 about it. And it was true. It was true. He was in Glasgow for a couple of days. He was in the West End and then he done his medical and he signed for Celtic. And... Sometimes I talk about these stories and it doesn't happen. You know, it's all speculation. But he's he's in now. We have a striker. With is there going to be a case now? Yakamakis will go to Atlanta. There's been talks about four million of him going to Atlanta in the MLS. If he does go for four million, he has to be in that top them three players that get the they're not on the salary cap as well. Okay, Atlanta. You know, you have a massive stadium. You know, a big stadium. It is only an up-and-coming club in the MLS, but the MLS is a different standard of football to the Scottish League. It's not far behind because there's some really good players in that league. You know, a lot of them go over for the pay. But um, Yakimak is, if he goes to the J League, I don't know if he's going to get into the Greeks national team. So probably America would be best preference. Two young kids as well to think about in his misses. So American boys still be hard to turn down. Look, I know a lot of people are saying, no, no players bigger than the club, but if you're looking at a forward beside you, that's Koyogo, and he's on 19 grand, and you're only on 12 grand, and you're not playing first team, regular first team football and starting, that's when you start thinking to yourself, I've had me share a Celtic for 18 months, I'm at the winning two trophies, I'm at the playing Champions League football, what's next for me to stay on and just keep fighting for my place, even though I have a contract? If he's getting interest somewhere else and he's getting offered triple the money and better, Perks, even though he's at a wonderful club like Celtic, they're going to move on. As I said many times in this channel, these players have nothing to prove to us. At the end of the day, yes, we're paying their salary. If they just want to move on and use this as a stepping stone and get the experience, let them move on. It's like you going from job to job at the end of the day. Some people don't understand that Celtic is a selling club. It's a business. You know, loyalty in football doesn't really work anymore. And that's sad the way it's, it's going. Unless... You're born in Scotland or you're born in Ireland and you're a childhood Celtic fan and you get the dream to play for your club and you're loyal and you just want to stay there. That's what happens. But majority of the time, players move on and that's it. I think people are just too stubborn to admit that sometimes that, you know, we're a selling club and that's the way it works. But regards to how, like, this, he's the tour there, our South Korean player to play for us, like, behind Chad Ray and Ki Sung Young. So he, does, he did know a bit about Celtic and there was reports a couple of weeks ago that, you know, he was heartbroken where the interest came in and so one that weren't really willing to sell him at that time and then we came back in with an approved bid. The original bid was 1.8 million and then we went back in with this 2.5 million. So, see what happens with him. Rory Jens has left the club. I talked about him yesterday in the channel saying that there's a chance he's going to go back to Lorient and there's reports that from the Bundesliga that Schalke are willing to put a bid in for him. You know, Alone, optional the boy. They're in the relegations out the bottom of the Bundesliga. But let's talk about the Bundesliga. 
But Maurice Lenz goes, wishing the very best. They didn't really get a chance at Celtic and some player, some fans always. And Starfield's ahead of him in the parking order. Carl Bashi's ahead of him in the parking order. Welch is probably ahead of him in the parking order. There must be something there where the communication broke down. There must be a poor dip of form. And just doesn't trust them or just just better players that and feels more comfortable with. But you're also Vjanovic, who left the club over the weekend for Union Berlin. He got assist in his debut tonight against Werder Brennan. They won tonight and a clean sheet, one nil victory. So congratulations to Josip on his, his debut in the Bundesliga. I hope he goes well and it, and it keeps up the form. You know, it's the match day one for him and keep going and... You know, hopefully all this evaluation pays off and we get the add-ons back in the near future as well. So that's really it for me tonight. Um, nothing really else to report. Once I get more updates, I'll be back on the channel. And I hope you like the cushion in the background as well. Hell, hell.